Andrew Miller please. has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the Andrew. eighth. Digging in once again, Willie Mays. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing and a ball chopped foul down the left side. The 0 1 pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Here comes another 0 2. Swing and a drive and gone. Now with the play, Ken Griffey Jr. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Ken Griffey Jr. He's set and the pitch. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher to get ahead right there. You know you got a star hitter at the plate. He's not afraid to go to two strikes or go deep in the count. That's what you have to do. You have to put him. Now this ball's hit out to deep left center. Junior looks up, and it's gone as they add still another. So the bases are clear now following the home run. Wow, that and that'll give way to the third baseman, Alex, Alex Bregman. Bregman. Here's the 0 1. High in the air into shallow left center. Koufax has a play. One away. Now that Settling Number in four. now. Lou Gehrig. 0 for 2 for him to this point. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D. World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Coming to the plate so, like, now, you, Tony you, Gwynn. He looked to bounce back Tony. after striking out Where? his last time up. Pops this one up. Koufax onto the grass. He's there to make the catch, and wow, the runner breaks for second. But they'll just get the one out here as the runner now will get back safely at first. So it's a runner at first with two men out and set to stand in, perhaps the premier backstop of the last 20 years, the veteran Pudge Rodriguez. Mike Piazza will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. And Piazza's not going to get a chance to do any damage here as he'll take first on the intentional walk. Now batter. Trying to pick Double things zero. up where we left off. Hannes Wagner, eighth batter of the oh, inning now with the bases loaded and two away. He's set. The 0-1. Oh, and a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. Gehrig, the runner at third. Rodriguez on second. Piazza at first, two out in the inning. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. The set and the two and one. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Jones is there now as he makes. Liam Hendricks is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Liam. Striding into the box, Sandy Koufax. He enters this at bat, one for two with a walk. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. 
digging in and looking for more. Tripled homer run last time through, so we'll see what he's got in store here. 0 and 1 the count. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. No one out with a runner at second. And it's fouled away. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Lifted down the line in left. Junior's in pursuit. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Into the box. Mike Piazza is working on a one for three thus far. Now a breaking ball, but it's low. Swing and a miss. Looked like the slider there. A ball and a strike. Is that gun reading right right there? Because that just registered at 91 miles an hour on a slider. If he's working that, hold on now. That ball is down and could score a run. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Tim Williams will we'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Williams. Now pitching, Billy. So they'll go to the bullpen right. now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. Griffey Jr. has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. Now back to the top the of the lineup, stepping the in, baseman. Roberto Alomar, Roberto. and a big at bat in this one. Two Alomar. on, two away here in the eighth. Oh, that grounder got him. No play as the run comes in to score, and we're all hoping he's going to be okay on the mound. So striding forward now, Ken yeah. Griffey Jr., and he's getting Griffey. his first plate appearance he's here in the eighth junior. after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. 0 and 2. Here it is. A swing and a miss as he chased with two. Raleigh Fingers please. enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is, heading to the bottom of the ninth. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. Fingers. It's pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build the perfect relief pitcher, you'd want a guy that throws a lot of strikes, that minimizes the base on balls, and nobody does it as good as this guy does right now in the game of baseball. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, man, I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't roll for the same location over and over and over. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Cobb is right there, one down. Here's the cleanup hitter, Ken Griffey Jr. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Line to the right side. Lands in for a base hit. And he's three for five in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The third base Digging in to try it again. Alex Bregman. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Strike one to start the at bat. Ready with the 0 1. Line drive to center field. Cobb is there, two gone. At the plate, Lou Gehrig. He singled his left. 
Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if any. Ladies Patrick and Corbin You're takes over now with two please. gone here in the top now, of please. inning number nine. Patrick Corbin. Rogers Hornsby will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. And a surprising intentional walk here from the dugout as that will now load the bases. The right fielder, number 19. Stepping up now, Tony Gwynn. He's Gwynn. one for four for the game. That's popped up. Jones in foul ground, but this will land untouched. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Alomar. At third, Griffey Jr. over at second. Hornsby on at first with two down. Alomar gloves it. Throw in time. At the plate, Albert Pujols. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. The first baseman, Albert Pujols. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. First pitch curveball swung on and missed. Strike one. You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player, but in this situation, I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when this pitcher's missing like he is. Here's the 0 and 2. And another foul ball. Here's another 0 2. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Ready with another 0 2. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. The 0 2 once more is taken for That's ball one. one. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think to say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Great job to lay off that pitch after fouling off so many previous to it. I got to believe that pitchers certainly get frustrated in these types of at bats. And he finally puts him away here as he strikes him out after an 11 pitch at bat. The batter. The first, first pitch, pitch on its way. Keeper. And this one's nowhere Whoa. close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. Hornsby is up with it. On to first as they're able to take care of Chipper two away. So stepping in, Cody Bellinger. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Two out, nobody on. Two and oh. And that's just off the outside corner and low. Ball three. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate. In a one-run game, he doesn't want to walk you, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Now at the plate, Sandy Koufax. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. This is where he might need a mound visit, whether it be from the shortstop, his pitching coach, or the catcher. These last couple of pitches have certainly gotten away from him. Two and one. Yeah, this guy's having a good day right there. You can tell he is all over. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff is going to have to find a way to attack him a little differently. 
Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run.